It's said that the best thing about memories is making them in the first place. And this was certainly the case for everyone who attended our very own Zaki's summer wedding. It is an especially exciting time for us here at Mela as one of our own embarks on a new chapter. Zakia Patel is marrying Rob Price and we caught up with her just before the wedding to find out how she is feeling and what for her is the essence of a wedding. The essence of a wedding for me is the celebration of love and those two things are literally my favourite things in the world, celebrating and love. One of my favourite stories ever is how Rob and I met. I remember going to Lucito Land uh, and buying churros and coming home to a friend's house and lamenting dramatically on the couch, where have all the good men gone? Don't you know any good men? I'd just been heartbroken by goodness knows who. And my friend whips out her phone and goes onto Facebook and she's like, oh, there's this guy. And I was like, not my type. And then weeks later, the same friend and another group of friends got us into the same space. I actually remember thinking, hey, he's good looking, and I didn't realize it was the same guy from the Facebook post. First impression of Zakia, excitement, overwhelming excitement. She's a wonderfully exciting person, and she's beautiful. She likes doing things, she likes activity. My first impression of Rob was that he was open, without pretenses, and very comfortable in his skin. Adventure and travel play a central role for the couple and we chatted to them about their most recent trip to India. India is a very exciting place. I, don't, I think I'd always wanted to go to India. Something about the place is so, so deep in my heart and I just wanted to take Rob to this place that I don't actually know very well and I wanted to learn it and experience it with him. I mean, we love the food and I love the music and Rob I'll sometimes come home and hear a Bollywood track playing and I love that, that that's what we've passed on to each other and what I've shown him in the world, this completely different experience of food and taste and culture and music and sounds. Highlights, Rob took me in Rishikesh, in the mountains, to a Bollywood dance class. The best part of it, not only the class, was watching Rob motor and determined through this dance routine. Literally driving himself insane, but to get it. For me, that, that just shows how hard Rob will work for me and fight for me. If a silly little dance, you know, drove him to pull out his hair, but he made sure he finished, that's a testament to the type of man I'm marrying. If you follow Zach on social media, you'll know that dance plays an integral part of her life. So of course, she's got something special planned for the big day. Rob and I love dancing together, but I didn't want the pressure of that first dance where you know you can see the different levels of the couple with the Rithik Roshan and just the Strictly Come Dancing winner, you know, and, and I don't want to feel silly and I don't want to stand on his toes and I also don't want to, you know, do that very awkward lift where he looks very bad when I'm carrying him because he's so much taller than I am. So we thought that what we'd do is get everyone to dance with us. So for Rob and my first dance, we didn't want to do a traditional waltz or a foxtrot because that's not us in any shape or form. So we have a family dance, a boys dance and a girls dance. Zach's choice of the first dance being group dance is incredible because I've never seen that at a wedding. It's, it's so Zach, it's so different. It's adding a fresh spice, a fresh flavour, a fresh colour. I haven't seen much Bollywood dancing before in my life, which I think is a good thing because we come in with our own fresh take. So we add our own accents, you know, do our own moves as opposed to trying to get it completely like the Bollywood stars do. When 
choreographing for people with different abilities, you've got to keep it simple, but also very energetic. You're dealing with people of different ages, from nine to about 85. So with wedding choreography, you've got to kind of just choreograph on the go. The day before the wedding, we are going on a yacht where everyone is wearing cream and white and the sun and jazzy music and Eartha Kitt. You know what it is? It's my it's my elope wedding. That's how I would have eloped. I want, if I was going to do the little wedding, it would be on a yacht, cruising around some island, goodness knows where. And I was like, I'm going to have my cake and I'm going to eat it. It is an absolutely spectacular day out here at the Waterfront Harbour in Cape Town. The bridal couple have invited their nearest and dearest for a cruise around the Atlantic seaboard. Now this is the ideal way to kick off the celebration. Zach is a highly complex, multi-layered uh, individual with so much character and personality. I think probably what I love most about Zach is how she makes me feel and what she brings out of me. The things I love most about Rob, on a sort of first glance superficial level, how intelligent he is, because that is literally what makes my mind and world zing. You know, Zach and I are constantly pulling and pushing and, and making mistakes, but pulling each other back in the right direction. And, and that's what it's about. That's really what, for me, that's what it's about. That's what's beautiful about us. I live in a space where everything is possible and nothing's impossible. Of course, we're not perfect and don't get it right uh, all the time at all, but um, we, we're constantly trying to make things better. To find someone who can come along this journey where I'm like, let's go, to the moon and back tonight, who says, I'm with you every second of the way. I'll hold your hand. If you can't reach, I'll push you up without me and you can pull me up. That's huge for someone who can play in my world and invite me into his very patiently as well, because we do come from very, very different worlds. Days before one of the biggest days of your life, according to a lot of people, does actually feel like one of the biggest days of my life. I've been very nervous, I haven't been sleeping much, and no one warns you about this part of the wedding. You know, you think it's all the dress and the hair and the makeup and the friends, and it's actually quite nerve-wracking to have so many people come to celebrate you. I'm uh, excited about the wedding. Looking forward to celebrating with all the friends and family that we love. And at the end of the day, everybody who's coming is excited for us and loves us and wants to celebrate with us. And uh, we just try and always remember that at the end of the day and hold on to that, that kernel. <laughs> The excitement is at a fever pitch as the wedding planner puts in place the final touches. The chefs are cooking up a storm and the DJ sets up. Today, Zach and Rob officially become husband and wife. So the brief that Tasha Tyler, who's the decor person, got from Zakia was a very interesting one. It was the fact that it needs to be a festival vibe, it needs to, it's going to be an entire celebration. Colourful and scaringly, she said, kitsch as possible. What's really special to me is the variety of cultures that's involved in this wedding and also the variety of traditions that's going to take place today. I think that's truly something I haven't like experienced so often and that's going to be absolutely beautiful from the start with the drumming, through the ceremony, with the traditions there, with the family and friends, you know, symbolizing specific aspects of their marriage, with the dances taking place and just truly this celebration vibe which is absolutely beautiful. Working with 
Zach, it's been so easy because she just like exudes this love and positive energy and also she's really good at her own makeup so that was a little bit intimidating. However, she always made me feel comfortable enough to give her my own suggestions. So one of the best tips Rosanna's given me going forward with this wedding is when it comes to greeting guests, don't let the aunties or anyone with lipstick kiss you because what they often do is they'll kiss you on your cheek and it'll literally mix your highlighter, your contour and your blush into a smush mm. and then you've like rubbed it off and you know, all the pictures. <laughs> so she says air kiss or push them. It's about removing a prayer, paying homage to our Maker with the positive thoughts. And that's what marriage is about. physically, mentally and spiritually, to grow together, uh, to learn together in strength, to honour, to protect and to be faithful, to challenge and to push each other, to preserve our wealth, not just material wealth but also spiritual wealth, intellectual and physical wealth, to share our joys and sorrows, to communicate, to be patient, to love each other in good times and in bad times, to remain lifelong best friends and to have fun. <laughs> We promise to nourish each other physically, mentally and spiritually, to grow and learn in strength, to honour, protect and be faithful, to challenge and push each other, to preserve our wealth, not just material wealth, but also spiritual, intellectual and physical wealth, to share in our joys and sorrows, to communicate, to be patient, to love each other in good times and bad times, to remain lifelong best friends and to have fun. <laughs> so may the marriage be filled with lots and lots of fragrance and beauty. Lord, turn his face towards you and give you his peace. May you have children that will bring more joy and love into your lives. We're full of joy that you guys have decided to publicly commit your lives to one another. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. This is now the beginning of an adventure for Zach and Rob. They both are of the type where they embrace life, and I said to them, the adventure has now begun. And I wish them many, many years, you know, whether it's 35 or 40 or 50, but the togetherness is important. We just wish them love and health and happiness and, you know, everything, and just to stay close to their families. 
they both come from very strong families that care and love about them a lot. One, two, three. Get ready to walk three times. Three. First part. Woo! Two guys. One, two, three. Jump, jump, jump. You have made it a beautiful day. You have reflected the love that Rob and Zakia have and have shown in our lives. And welcoming, for the very first time, the happy couple! Woo! While cooking for such beautiful people or baking for them, uh, it's always wonderful. And I, I want to know that my cakes go somewhere where it's really appreciated and enjoy. They didn't want the traditional white wedding cakes, none of the royal icing or the fondant icings. So what we've opted for was a selection of standard sized cakes with the butter icings and then also smaller ones. So each guest can have more than just one slice. We've got about eight to 12 different cakes, varying in sizes so you can either share or you can have then I think the vibrancy of the cakes and the colors and the flavors really suits their personalities to the T. I can only wish them happiness, good health and the best of life together. I just loved seeing how people love them. To me that's so important. There was so much honesty in everyone's love towards them. And it brought out such a beautiful energy that I could easily capture. So. Rob, I want to go everywhere with you and I want to do everything with you. I want it all and I want it all with you. You are my beloved. And as my beloved, I will put you first every single day of my life. I want to dance with you every day. And above all, I want to somehow, somehow, communicate this overwhelming, undying, overpowering, unconditional, encompassing, heart-enriching, mind-expanding, ongoing, never-ending love I have for you. <laughs> One of the things I love about you is how you empower me, the way that you make me feel. So also the big open heart that you have, you're an absolute inspiration to me. And we're just a wonderful team. You are my team. <laughs>